Hello, this is Dr. Laura Murillo, President and CEO of the Houston Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. We're so happy today to have our friend and new to Houston, Luis Silva, Vice President, General Manager of South Texas at AT&T. Luis has hit the ground running here in Houston and has a lot of updates about this very large corporation. And at the end of the day though, they're about people, they're about making sure that they provide excellent customer service. And he's gonna to talk to us about some of the new and exciting things at at and Welcome, Luis. Oh, thank you, Laura, for having me. Really excited to be here. Well, we're happy to have you here in Houston, and there's so much going on at at and But why don't you talk about maybe a couple of things that excite you the most? Well, let, let, let's talk about investment, and, and it's really important. We've invested billions of dollars, billions with a B, in the city of Houston. We've loaded up uh, with a product that I'm really excited that we have over here. It's called Fiber, and it's access to the internet. So it is a great product. We launched, Houston is one of our core cities where it's most important, and I'm super excited. We cover more than 50% of Houston with our fiber now, and I'm super excited about all the investment that is coming in in all the access to great high-speed internet in your house. Now your household is, you know, completely connected, you know, and after the pandemic, we all realized that we needed to do something different. And this product is phenomenal. Great mm -hmm. ratings, the best uh, product in the nation, uh, according to all external surveys. So we're really excited. And I'm mostly excited for Houston because we get to have it here and we get to give it to the people. So that's one of the things that has me super excited. And speaking of which, for our community, this really is transformational. Well, it is completely transformational. In when you look at access to the internet and, and you mix it up, Laura, with what's happening after the pandemic with the new ACP program from the government, which is the Affordable Connectivity Program, mm -hmm. in which families that are 200% uh, beyond the poverty line, they get a special discount of $30 a month on the internet service or on wireless service. And that's a federal program that you know we have here in, 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 in all of the US and it came right out and it's going to give people that opportunity to have access to the internet and it's going to eliminate that digital divide. And especially in the Southern part in the South of Houston, right? When people, you know, do not have as much uh, economic capabilities at this point in time, it's a help to get and eliminate that digital divide that we saw during the pandemic that affected so many folks. Well, on top of that, another interesting and important topic of conversation is the role that at and has with our first responders. Yes, I'm so glad that you bring it. Actually, I was bragging about Houston a few minutes ago in a meeting talking about how we are the best in medical services and the best at taking care. And we have one of the largest, if not the largest, uh, you know, fire uh, team. And, and, and so I am so excited. FirstNet is an exclusive network just uh, created for first responders. Right, so we have this product called First Then, in which people are connected to to those lines, but are exclusive for firefighters, for first responders, emergency teams, and as soon as something happens, we clear those lines just for the first responders, so that they can communicate and attend to any type of emergency that we might have. So when whether you have a weather emergency. Um, you know, like a hurricane or something happening around town that you need those first responders to have access to communication. It's not only voice, but also data. So they can see records of the patients and things like that as they're coming in the emergency vehicles. So that literally saves lives. It's a way to save lives and to have these people that need to be connected, connected at all times. Well, that certainly is information that people should be well aware of and know that at and is at the forefront of this. And we all have loved ones and to know that that technology is there seconds, as you know, minutes 
make a big difference in crisis situations. So again, our thanks to at t for being a leader in this space. And we want to again, welcome you to Houston, Lisa, and all that we know we have done with at t in the past and all that we shall be doing this year in 2022. Anything else you'd like to leave the audience with? Well, just uh, one last thing. We have a beautiful program called Believe Houston in, in at t and it's where we have connected learning centers for kids that do not have access to the internet. So we go to community education centers and we add our fiber product and we allow these kids to have access to the internet. So if anybody could wants to volunteer or help us with Believe Houston, at and doors are open so that we can help the community here in Houston. That's that's excellent. And we're encouraging everyone to please visit the at and website for more information so that you can volunteer and have access to all of this great information, products and services by our friends at at and Luis, thanks for all you do. Hope to see you soon.